And so that the first challenge, the challenge of freedom, the desire to be free. When freedom comes, what do you do with it? It's like in many countries today, mostly African countries, that fought for their independence, independence from their colonial masters. And after fighting for their independence, they got what? Freedom. And now they don't know what to do with their freedom. They've been there 40 years and more and don't know what to do with freedom. Because freedom is actually more difficult to deal with than bondage. You know, when you're in bondage to others, you do what they tell you to do and so you can blame them for whatever results you get. But when you're free, you become responsible. Freedom is responsibility. Now, if you heard on the news this afternoon that they have found the cure for cancer, so many people are going to be happy. If they announce today the that they have now gotten, they've made a vaccine for HIV, wow! There'll be celebration in many countries. You see that? So we seem to be waiting for somebody somewhere who are saying, Can't they get the cure? Who are this they? You see, we have put our lives in jeopardy because we've left ourselves at the mercy of somebody somewhere who we don't know. We say, Where are they? In somebody doing something about it? Why? Can't that somebody be me? The first thing is to know that freedom is possible. Freedom from this disease, freedom from this sin, freedom from this sickness, freedom from this situation is possible. The next thing is the challenge of excellence. When you want to add more value to your life, you must become better than you used to be. Because when you are free, it's not enough. I said it's more difficult to handle freedom than bondage. But having become free, you must add something to your life. Many people, when they have retired from work, you know what they do? They just spend all their days reading newspapers. And many young people, the same thing. When they're holidays, they spend all their time reading newspapers. They just go from page to page to page to page. When they finish, they start reading all the obituary. When they finish, change of name. You know, the different, different things. It's just, then they start looking at all the adverts. You know, they just, just while in the way time. Or they stretch one leg after the other, watching TV. They're tired from this to this. From this. When they're bored with this channel, they go to the next one. And to the next one. And then back up to find out if those people have come back with a better program. And then, and then, and then, and then. Hours are going. Then, uh, uh, uh. They won't leave. They go again. Switch, switch, switch. Up, up, up. Down, down, down. And they went, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Up, up, up. If no good one, take that video. Put it in there. <laughs> Put some value to your life. The challenge of excellence. Excellence is crying. Hello, hello, hello. I got more to give you. You can become better than what you are now. You can add value to your life. Add value to your life. Learn something new. Learn something new. The people who are out of job because what they used to do is not needed anymore. Oh yes. Train your life with something. Train yourself with something. Can you get better? Can you get better? Can you get better? So when you set yourself free, don't stop there. Don't say my life is good now. Think. What more can I do? How can I help someone else? Then set your sail and help someone else. Listen, listen. You haven't heard me until you have become a helper. You must become a helper. Shortly after I finished from school and I started working, I started paying the fees of my younger ones. I started paying their school fees. They didn't have to ask me. My parents didn't have to discuss with me. I just started. How important this is. The third one, the challenge of opportunity. The needs of others are your opportunity. 
When someone needs help, that's your opportunity. Don't complain. Reach out to help. The challenge of opportunity. There's a need that has to be met. And you are the one to meet that need. The suffering of people around you is your opportunity. The state of the nation is your opportunity. Paul said, I fought a good fight. How do you fight? You confront the status quo. You bring in new ideas, new thoughts. You say, what if the people there don't allow the new thoughts? Oh, no. Not, you, you, you want to talk. And they don't want talkers. They want doers. Not those who say, I have a new idea. No, do it. Just do. Do something. I have a new idea for us to clean our windows. Clean them. Don't write a proposal of cleaning the windows. Start to clean them. Come with the cleaners. Show them how to do it. Let others come and say, wow, the windows are shining now. Don't say, I have a proposal for making our floor very, very neat. Don't send me no proposal. Don't send your boss any proposal. Stop sending proposals around. They are not working. Do something. The world is looking for doers. The challenge of opportunity. Don't be a complainer.